Two altar boys have been arrested for putting marijuana in the censer. We, uh, what started as a joke ended with some legal trouble for two altar boys living in Spain. They were detained overnight after they put weed in the censer of the, of the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela. The censer is used in the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela to celebrate the Epiphany of the Lord. Several assistants stated that in this occasion the holy precinct was suddenly covered in an odd smell. They said, it did not smell as usual. It was a familiar smell, but I could not relate it to anything. But sometimes my son's bedroom smells like that. <laughs> what? Who said this? <laughs> the holy precinct? Oh, an assistant at the holy precinct? Following the mass, the altar boys were arrested <laughs> by the police after confirming that the strange smell was coming from the cannabis that they put inside the censer. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> this is amazing. It was a joke, they said. The idea came during the Christmas Eve Mass. They said, we bought half a kilo of Mary Jane and <laughs> dropped it inside the censer. We, we're sh we are sure that people have left the cathedral happier than ever. <laughs> really? <laughs> this, can't, this can't be true. I can't imagine altar boys doing this. I can't. I can imagine altar boys like joking about doing this, you know, talking about how funny it would be to do this, but never really following through with it. I mean, this is... This is, well, I admit, I think it's outstanding. I think it's great. I, I would, I'm, this is the kind of church I want to go to. Luckily for the boys, no one got injured. Well, how would you get injured? Stupid. And they were released after one night in detention. Good, good. Don't, you don't need to, if that happened in the U.S., they'd put these boys away for a hundred years. That's what would happen. Ridiculous. Spain is a reasonable country. Therefore, they just detained the kids overnight, had a talking, maybe find them or something, which is which is reasonable. It's this is a this is a harmless prank. Let's let's get real. Um, <laughs> so, this is one of the great pranks of all time, man. I just I love this shit. This is great, hilarious. I wonder if I wonder if the priest got high. Don't you wonder? You're like, ow. <laughs> The priest, the priest starts off with the usual lecture, and then all of a sudden starts talking about uh, how 9/11 was an inside job, and you're like, "What just happened to the priest?" <laughs> the priest is all talking about conspiracy theories by the end of the mass. <laughs> the priest is like, "I don't know what came over me," you know? Uh, yeah, I was, I was reading from the Book of John, and then all of a sudden I just, I just felt like talking about the Illuminati. I, I thought it, <laughs> I thought it was appropriate at the time. I don't know what came over me. Yeah, you were high. I want to get high, so high, at the altar. Altar boys, man. Hey, who can blame the altar boys? It's, it's bored. It's boring. It's boring being an altar boy. You got to spice it up a little bit. Come on. All this mumbling and blah, blah, blah. everybody be quiet. Get on your knees. Blah. The only thing fun for you to do is wave that sensor around. You, want, you might as well, like... Put some, put some Mary Jane in there. Make, make the situation more exciting. <laughs> I don't blame him at all. Come on, Jonesy, this is sacrilegious. How dare you? How dare you not take religion seriously? What, are you, what is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I don't take anything seriously, I have to be honest with you. This, which makes me the perfect host for this show. Hey, if I took things seriously, I would be weeping by the end of each episode. I would be crying. You're lucky I don't take shit seriously. Uh, although I do tend to, I do go on rants and raves. I do get a little angry sometimes. So yeah, yeah, I, I do take some things, some things. But I can't talk. Right. Obviously, I don't even take talking seriously. I can't even do it. <laughs> all right, listen. I love you all. Um, if you were completely offended by this story or any others, please call Weird AF News six four six four five zero twenty twelve. I definitely want to hear from you.